working. There it goes. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Delete. That's with a question mark on the end. Now, you might have noticed that yesterday's video was terrible. Four out of five doctors say that I uploaded screenshots. Well, call it, like, a benchmark for what you now know I can and cannot play. Basically, anything that's 3D and moves. This is a game that's 2D. It's actually made in... I, I believe it's RPG Maker. I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. It's oh good, it's lagging. It's choppy, and I have no. Who the hell is this now? Who the hell is this with his armband? Who the fuck are you? I don't know you. Where am I? I don't know. How about where are you? I mean, who are you? That would be a very good first question. Oh good, he has the amnesia. Also, he has a headache. Go on. Continue. You were saying. Please, I... Ah, my head. Why does it feel... Empty? I don't know. Maybe you misplaced your brain. I don't know. I've, I've done that a couple times. Just found mine in the fridge last week. Ah, here we are. Wow, that is choppy. Why? I tested this game to make sure it wouldn't do that. Why is it that... Oh my god. This might be unplayable. What about running? It's... Mm, there are very few frames that just just have... doesn't have the chappiness. I don't know where that's coming from. I might have to restart my computer. This whole thing might be, might be scrapped. How long can I keep doing this? Oh my god, there are people outside and they are screaming. Why do I have this tiny apartment? You know what? This is fine. Just use the... Uh, it's fine. It's mostly reading anyway. We don't need fast stuff. It's just... Oh, wait. Oh, it looks like it's fast now. A computer. Mine, maybe? There's dust gathering on it. Ugh. I guess he doesn't watch too much porn. It's over here. I really do have a lot of books. Well, there's books there. I think I see some books over there. This is a really weird room for a kid. And it's... Okay, it's choosing when it wants to be chop... Like, whenever the screen moves, it's choppy. Or, actually, no, it just chooses whenever. And this is a bed. I was lying here when I woke up. Maybe this is my bed. I can't remember. I doubt it. This looks more like a research lab than a, than a room. Come on. A diary. It has the name Zai messily scribbled on it. Ah. It has my name on it. Is it mine, then? This must be my room. Why don't I remember? So you know your name, so you know who you are. Never mind, I fucked that up. So, we have this room full of shit. What's our computer say? Humans believe that the, 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 the humans believe that the totality of a human being can be separated into four parts: body, mind, soul, and spirit. Research has shown that non-living objects only possess a body, but a chip can be implanted to replace the mind. Scientists are currently researching methods of implanting a spirit and soul into non-living objects to make androids more human in nature. There is yet to be any signs of such being possible. Yeah? I see, you are very confused. Alright, and... Laptop. The battery's dead. Maybe it was left on too long. Is there dust on it? Why did Mother give me so many books? Mother's always liked it when I drew stuff. It's weird that I remember that. I wonder what this actually does. I've never used it. Same thing over here. Oh. The board seems as though it has not been used for some time now. So this is obviously something futuristic. Because apparently androids are a thing. More books! I guess I really like to read. I wonder if it's weird that I have this many books. So many books. I sure do have a lot of weird books. You have a lot of books in general. Cute, crude drawings of some weird creature. I hope these aren't mine. They probably are. Books. Lined up neatly. I'm too short to reach them. I wonder how I managed before. <laughs> you, you probably got the stool and stood on top of it. 
but you know, that's fine. You don't have to use critical thinking. I'll do that for you. That's why I'm the player and you're the character. And now we're back to choppy mode. Back outside the door. Oh, that's spooky. Hey there, lady. Hang on. Take a look at her joints. She looks a little, uh, mannequin-like. I don't think I like it. I hope this isn't a game over. Oh, game over? Nope, not quite a game over yet. Ow. I know these types of games. Uh, yes, ow. I pre- oh, hello. Hi. 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 Mrs. Big Head. I am Mr. Big Head. You're spooky, and look at your fucking joints. Are you a late? Are you an android? Are you an android like they say? It's ridiculous. Fucking android. Um. I can't tell when it enters going to work or not. There we go. You can't leave. You just can't. But the door is right there. You're not allowed to. But, no. I'm still going to go regardless. Then, I will follow you. Okay. Um. Oh, good! I now have a companion whose name I have no idea who is, and who's probably a robot. I can't fucking wait. Alright, what's next? I've already checked out everything in here. So, time to go upstairs. Hooray! Alright. Oh, it's just dark. I thought it was still loading. I was like, huh, I guess it's frozen. Not quite, not quite yet. Though it's still a probability. You saw how much trouble my computer was having playing that game yesterday. And this is just a 2D game. This is just a 2D exploratory thing. Which is good, because I don't actually be there. A picture depicting a teenage boy and a woman in a lab coat. Ah, it must be Zai and his mama. Ah, that's mother. Mother? Hmm, this lady over here. And that's me. Though, you really are following me around. Yes. Well, since you are, then could you help me find my memories? I've lost them and I've no clue where to look. If I would be of any help. Of course you would. Well, I don't know where to start, so just help me look around, okay? Oh, wait, hang on. Ha! I do have an inventory. Zai's journal. My journal, it seems. I don't know why I can't remember anything I wrote in it. I don't remember anything that's written here. Is that it? Maybe you could give us a little dialogue. Whatever. It appears to be some sort of old text, but it's too blurred to read. It's like everything in here is just old. Oh, I've already checked. I've already looked at it. Wonder where this came from. Oh yeah, I've already checked it. Wonder why these books are hiding in glass case? They're the important. They're not. Whoop. Checking out everything. Documentation on wildlife and human behavior. Documentation, blah blah blah. A collection of sci-fi storybooks. Goody, good, good. Can't wait for that. Oh, God, move faster. I mean, shift works, but it's still, like, choppy as hell. Oh. Uh, uh, I forgot to ask. Um, where is this exactly, and who are you? I'm Subject 4, and this is yourself and your mother's living quarters, I'd assume. Hmm. Hmm? That's the most I've heard you say so far. But Subject 4 is kind of a weird name, though. I suppose. Well, if you don't mind, I'll call you Faye. Why, if I may ask? You're like that fairy from that show I watched. Tinkerbell, you know? Grumpy and... Ow! I guess she punched him. I, I would punch him, too. Thanks for calling me a fairy, you little fuck. The only form of decoration you would find in our home. A flower, I guess. And... Are these vending machines? Hmm? What's this? A photo album. Oh no, it's a bookcase. Huh? What's th that must be where this picture's from. Huh? There's something stuck in between the pages. A 
obtained a note. Oh, I have to read that myself. Books in a different language. Books in a different language. What's in here? It's locked. I shouldn't go in anyway. Mother doesn't like it when I go into her room. Hmm. Okay. There's no doorknob. Oh, Mother always kept the doorknob hidden. Said that I was a disaster waiting to happen. Pfft. Hey, don't laugh at me. <laughs> well, maybe you are a disaster waiting to happen, you silly billy. Inventory. Note. A note that was stuck in the photo album. It's written by Mother. Zai, if you forget where the car key is, remember that it's where you rest your head when we say goodnight. Well, that's very cryptic, Mother. Thank you very much for leaving this... <laughs> this amazingly well-written note that no one else could ever decipher. You fucking... Hmm? The pillow. Ah! I haven't checked this, so... Picked up a key card. Great! I don't know what I need a key card for. I guess I should try to leave this apartment, or whatever I'm in. This is a weird setup, in general. Like, this is a living room. And there's papers and books. Um, mom's room. And there's a doorknob room that has no doorknob. Maybe a bathroom. I have no idea. Don't know why I wouldn't be allowed to go poop. Where's the bathroom in here? I just realized there's no bathroom. How am I supposed to go to the poopies? I have no idea. Uh... Eh? This room's bright right away. It automatically detects your presence and switches on. A rather simple thing to be amazed about. Sh sh shut up. Why do the previous rooms have this, though? Your mother wanted you to not rely on automated things. So she opted out of them within her living space. Oh. Maybe I should stop trying to get her to talk. She's not a very good conversationalist, no. Because <laughs> she's an android! Obviously. Use the key card. Oh, it was for this. Access granted. Okay. This is this is very futuristic. Okay, I'm suddenly in a completely different environment. I was in an apartment complex. And now there's just a bunch of fucking doors that slide open made out of light. It's fucking weird. They have words printed on them and crap. Whatever. Uh, so I can go in here and I can go in there. I'll go in here. There's also an elevator. Oh god, how many places can I go? Uh, 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 uh. Floor mapping? Research centers 1, 2, and 3. There's some fine print at the bottom. Please remember to sign into both departments to gain access to research center 3. Oh, I guess it's locked. Excuse me. Which floor do you want to go to? 2! I <laughs> Fuck me then. Which floor do you want to go to? 3! Fuck you too! Moving on. And what is here? More em empty bullshit. Good. Ah, uh, God, there's so much to look at. I guess we start at square one. Boxes filled with colorful wires and several types of silicone chips. Cardboard boxes packed with spare parts that have been neatly arranged on the shelves. Missed one. Boxes filled with... I have to make sure. They, they, they'll do this to you, where one of them won't have anything, but the other one will. A variety of toolboxes that seem to be packed full with tools. A variety of toolboxes that seem packed by food. Please enter the password. Um. Fuck me. Uh, can I, can I leave? Can I get out of here? No, I cannot get, hang on. It's, it's B. Error. Fuck me. Alright. What's this? Jar of some gooey substance. It's honey for spreading on bread in your nipples. Dirty petri dishes with signs of chemicals on them. Not sure what these are, but I don't think I want to find out either. I can't actually see this book. Everything written is illegible but one sheet of paper. Read it? Sure. We've been seeing this kid around for a while now, but he seemed a lot brighter than his uh, than kids his age. The boss said not to pay him too much mind, but sometimes he helps out in our work. Essa said the kid's pretty sweet and gentle, so I really have no qualms with him. I really hope the boss doesn't think of him as just a... The rest of the words are smudged and illegible. Well, I'm going to see if I can read this book. 
a book filled with notes regarding android parts and how to fix them. So yeah, she's definitely an android. An empty petri dish, probably for taking samples. Apparatus for chemical work. Vials of chemicals that seem to have been neglected for a while now. What? <laughs> You'd think that like this kid would get swept up in this like great exodus to leave this place. And if everything's been left here a while, then he must have been here for a while. But he doesn't remember anything. I'm thinking he's an android. Because, you know, they can stay in suspended... You know, you can just turn them off. And then turn them on again. And then turn them off. And turn them on again. Because they're not cyborgs. They're not part human. They don't have any parts of, like, things you need to fill with nutrients. They're just n metal and synthetic skin. So I'm thinking this boy is an android as well. I'm guessing that, in, like, the, the reason that she, like, put air quotes around mother is because it's, like, not really mother. More means more like maker. It looks like the lab report for the maintenance they were carrying out. It's dated a year ago. Also, this game can be a horror game, I hear. Well, not I hear, but I read. Um, if you choose a specific path, this game gets horror elements, but otherwise it's exploratory. So that's fun. The screen is lit up, but it doesn't seem to be working. That sucks. Other than some ice cubes, the refrigerator is empty. Is that a rotten sandwich? Oh. Well, that sucks. There's nothing of importance inside this refrigerator. I just wouldn't expect to find one. I ice cubes. I, I shut up. Did I already check everything over here? I can't even remember. I was just talking. Let's go over here now. Oh, there's stuff up here. Can I inspect what's on this table? Some scratches can be seen on the table surface. It looks as though they were left by metal scraping. This is probably a place where they built androids. You know, just android parts. Anything else on this tit? Nope, everything's the same. What's this? Can't look at it? Uh, oh, a tap. It doesn't seem to have been used for a while now. Yeah, everything's just kind of aged, which brings up this again. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this kid is not a kid so much as he is a metal robot being. A variety of reports made by the research departments. Nothing of importance here. There's a note inside. It says documents have been stored in the archives for safekeeping. Please refer to them if needed. I just bit my tongue. Did you catch that? Of course you didn't. I was too smooth. Equipment is carefully stored inside the glass cabinet. And this? Books on mechanical parts and their individual functions. You know, obviously, I probably should have gone to the desk that had, like, just the single chair, the book, the laptop, and a note. But you know what? Fuck me. Books on mechanical... Blah, blah. Books on the anatomy of industrial robots and their controls. Good. I'm going to read this box before before f hashing out this table. Haha. <laughs> oh, I can't. Yes, I can. Books on the uncanny valley. Okay, they're trying to make very realistic androids, which is, I guess, why she's around. Because she's obviously an android. Some old text on the first few robots created. A letter addressed to the head of the research department. Can I, can I read it? Okay. I guess, you know, whatever. It seems that the book has been left open for a while now. I guess there's, like, dust on it, like everything else. Uh, can I read it from the sign? It seems like the majority of the, electronics de uh, of the electronic devices aren't working. Hopefully the mainframe's still up. So you know what that is, you fucking robot. An unfinished letter addressed to the defect department. Read it? Sure. Unfortunately, most of the writing is illegible. Only one progra uh, pe prograph is redable. Due to the significant rise of reported flaws, this department requires more staff than it has. If any of you are willing to change departments, please let me know. That aside, everything else is illegible. So that was in green, right? Yeah, to the defect department. So, that was the only clue I think that I got out of this entire place, so I'm going to go ahead and put it over in this computer. This is going to be a bitch. Hang on. Okay, I have to... I know that one. That one's... That's always delete, so... It's all in lowercase. I hope this is why, what it is. I hope I didn't, you know, completely screw this one up. Defect. Fuck. Why wouldn't it say, you know, invalid password? Why would it just say error? That makes me think it's broken. 
That would make me think it would bro be broken in real life. I'd, like, not touch that one anymore. Okay, this one's more spacious. Hello, apartment. Oh, look, another computer over there. I, uh, hmm. Wait, hang on. That note was addressed to the research, to the repair department. It wasn't... So it was not being made in... It's from someone to re repair. Maybe this is repair department. Let's 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 try it. No, sorry, defect department. Where did I hear repair department? Access granted. Ha! I am the. I guess that's it. Case closed. Good. I still can't vault over chairs. Moving on. More scattered paper. The staff here sure are messy. Some sort of metal contraption. It looks like a weighing machine. Why not jump on it and check it out? See if you're overweight, you crazy robot bastard. Probably weigh at least a ton. Wilted leaves remain here, where an initially healthy plant was. I get it. This place is fucking old. I'm not a real boy. I'm not sure what these are. But I don't think I want to find out either. Dirty petri dishes with signs of chemicals on them. Nasty. Glad this place isn't filled with poisonous gas, but it wouldn't matter, would it? Haha. <laughs> Probably for taking samples. A pile of paper. They scattered on the table. Looks like one of the staff wrote their thoughts on it. Read it. Zai is the name of the boy, it seems. His cheery self tends to make the atmosphere of this place so much better. Boss says that he won't cause any trouble, and I second that statement. He's a sweetheart, really, though I wonder what the boss is up to. She's been cooped, cooped up in her room more than usual. We get kind of worried, but she just shushes us, sh shushes us away. <laughs> Hopefully she's not overworking. It seems to have been left blank after that. The writing looks messy, like the person writing it was taking, uh, rushing off somewhere. It's a weird thing to write in a rush. It's like just personal memo thoughts. It looks like a blueprint of one of the robots. Apparatus for chemical work. A gooey substance is contained in the jars. It looks like jelly. I think it's some sort of gel. Or silicon? Mmm. Jelly. Faye, did you just... Yes. <laughs> Never mind. It's obvious. She's a robot. I don't know what you're... A putrid smell wafts out of the refrigerator upon opening it. It's hastily closed. I'd rather not go through that again. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I can't go by this chair. This chair is, uh... This chair has my number. Moving on. Cutting this corner. Oh, I guess all of them are now off-limits. That's fine. This cabinet is filled with an assortment of files. A microscope. It was probably used to examine microscopic specimens. Ha-ha! <laughs> Books on the various malfunctions of electronics. Bottles that contain some sort of adhesive substance. What kind of malfunctions? Shorts? Opens? Oh. Test tubes and other chemistry equipment are neatly arranged in the glass cabinet. Stray pieces of paper have been scattered messily. It doesn't seem to be anything of importance. It's a great thing to just say, I guess. Okay, thank you for letting me know. It looks like some musings from one of the staff. Read it. It is the repair department! I don't know where I got that from. Probably because whenever I think of defect, I think about repair. Whatever. So there is a re defect in a repair department. So we're cool. The head likes to hang around the de repair department, because apparently it's more rowdy here. I mean, of course, it'd be more noisy here. We're looking for any flaws that could be in their boss's robots. I wish he'd come over here more, though. He's so hot. He gives me more motivation to do work, and gives me an excuse to dress up. <laughs> I'll try to seduce him. And that's enough of that. <laughs> Thank you, Zai. I didn't want to read all that. A variety of tools, mostly consisting of screwdrivers and hammers? You know, tools. A variety of tools. Machine that appears to test the durability of metal is placed here. It's a bit odd how they decided to place this in a cupboard. Oh, excuse me. A collection of both working and frayed wires stick out of the box. 
cleaning equipment. They do have to clean up after themselves after all. I'm getting a little slurry because I'm talking so much. Cleaning equipment. They do have to clean up after them. Uh, so the other one is repair. I don't, let me guess. This is Department 3, and it is completely lockoed. Yep. They don't want me in there. But I know their passwords because they have the shittiest password system ever. It's just the name of the department. I tried it. You remember. Defect. It was defect. So what I'm going to do... Hang on. Sorry, repair. One, The other one was defect. Whatever. Whatever. Don't judge me. Rep. Hey. Er. Er. Haha! -ha! Access granted. I am the wiener. All right. Well, this has gone on for a while, hasn't it? Jesus. This game takes bed. Just to like I've been in what three rooms? All right. Oh wow, this one's even bigger. All right. Thank you very much for watching. This has been episode one of delete question mark I hope to see you all again in the very near future probably tomorrow because I'm going to play more of it play more of it and discover the secrets of Mrs. Lady Android and this boy air quotes and uh, we're going to figure that might be the twist at the end and I might have fucked it all up but that's fine it's whatever you all have a lovely day lovely day and we're going to test to see what's in those test tubes over not test tubes those gigantic like, they look like cathode tubes. Like cathode ray tubes. Like giant ones for whatever reason. Anyway, we're going to go inspect those. We're going to check out that book. Because that sink. All these papers. And we're going to check out that room below. But not today. You all have a good one. I love you so much. And goodbye.